Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, I have for you the new collection from Zoya, which is called Classic Leathers. Um, they sent this to me as PR for review. So let's get into it. We have six polishes. They're all creams and they're gorgeous. One thing to keep in mind if you're new here or if you're not new here, just a reminder that for color accuracy, you want to look at the picture on the right hand side. The video is more for, you know, the formula, the application, how it self levels, the opacity, all of that. When it comes to color accuracy in my videos, the picture is where you want to like, you know, pay attention to. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that all these colors are very dusty except this guy well actually not all these two are not dusty but these all have a, like a lot of dustiness to them and fall colors especially the ones that are dusty are absolute chameleons when you move them into different lightings actually let me see if i can like tone down the i just changed my white balance so i'm sorry about that but i'm gonna turn off a couple lights so that you guys can see how dark they get and this is just like not focusing there it is like if I keep putting the light down, you guys can see how dusty they get, right? So please keep that in mind. The first polish is called Gidget and it's described by Zoya as a rustic orangey mustard with beige undertones. I think it's a pretty good description. I wouldn't call this anywhere near a mustard, but when you put into it, the fact that they're saying orangey with like beige undertones, I guess it makes sense. But it could also just be like a beige with heavy orange undertones, you know? Um, I actually think it would have been better for the collection as a whole if this would have leaned more mustard, actually. Um, the formula was really, really good. It was opaque and even in two coats. I think at some nail lengths, you might be able to get away with just one. Um, but I did do two in both the swatch video and the picture. Next up, we have Ryder, and this one's described by them as a rich coastal redwood brown. Now, this was almost a one quarter for me. I have to say the formula was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I guess for all of these, actually, if you were to do like a very thin first coat, you're gonna see, you know, streaks maybe. But if you do like a regular first coat, some of these are like a one quarter. This one's one of those. And of course, when you build it up in the second coat, it's literal, you know, perfection. Um, it's a very beautiful tone of brown with the little red undertones that it has. It's really, really nice. Up next, we have, I think you call this Althea or Althea. I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. And this one's described by Zoya as a dark and mossy green. And I think that's a pretty good description because it's not just an olive. And I think the gray undertones that it has really give it that mossy feeling. I don't see um, too many yellow undertones because usually like olive greens tend to have like a lot of yellow sometimes and I don't know if that's too flattering for me specifically but this one seems to be more on the dustier gray undertone side you know so very good one no complaints up next we have Sylvia and this was my favorite of the collection I'm not even gonna make you guys wait till the end to hear that I adore this polish It's described by Zoya as a dark teal with cool undertones and I think they nailed it um, now also I think I would have mentioned that it has like heavy gray undertones it feels dusty but it's so cool oh my god I love it it's so good like you can tell that it's teal but it also feels so dusty. I love it, I love it. The formula was a little bit thin on the first coat, but it built up to opacity and like very rich on the second coat perfectly. So absolutely love this one. Up next we have Dagmar, and I hope I'm saying that right again. And this was described by Zoya as a deep plum brown with maroon undertones. And although Zoya is usually very good and on point with the descriptions, this time I think they missed the mark because there is nothing brown about this, like nothing brown about it. It's giving me Bahama Mama vibes. You guys are gonna see here in the comparison towards the end. There's nothing brown about this. It does have dustiness to it. So there is a dustiness to this color, but it's not brown. So I don't know. I don't know if they meant to say like a plum with brown undertones, but I think the word brown seems like a leftover typo in the description. It has nothing to do with this. So if you read that on the website, it's like, no. But anyways, very good. Opaque and even and beautiful in two coats. No complaints whatsoever about this one. Up next, we have Ono. And this one's described by Zoya as a dark berry magenta. And the formula is fantastic. It was like super opaque in one coat, even though I did like a thinner coat. It was like completely like covering, no streaks. It was great. I did do a second coat and I think it benefits from it because it builds it up to like a better like richness of color. But it's such a fantastic formula. And I think it's funny, like, I just realized that it's called Ono because on my Instagram the other day, I posted that I don't think this color fits in this collection. Oh no, don't put this here. <laughs> Anyways, it's very, very hard to get color accurate. And 
most pictures and videos, it looks even more bright. That's not a word. It's brighter than it is. And actually on this video right now, as I'm holding the bottle, the tone of it is looking pretty accurate. So it's not super bright, but it is much brighter than the rest. And I feel like, like it's not as dusty as the others. I really don't think this fits. I'm gonna try and see if I can find my recommendation of what I would have put in place of this one. I'm gonna insert a picture in here somewhere. And I think it makes the collection a lot better if you remove this and put something else. But anyways, that has, my preference of color has nothing to do with the quality of the polish, which is great. All right, so now that we have seen all of them, I already told you my favorite is this one. My least favorite has got to be either this one or this one. This one is just because something I wouldn't wear that much. I mean, it works for me, but it's not like my favorite thing. And this, I just don't think it fits in here. So anyways, you shouldn't be here. These are okay. <laughs> just kidding. Quality wise, they're great. I think if you like any of these colors, you're going to be safe and you're going to love them and enjoy working with them. The formulas are fantastic. This is so unique for me in my collection. I love it. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for coming to my review and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.